guys welcome back to my channel so today is my first ever battle of the eyeliners so if you want to know what I found to be one of the best waterproof eyeliners then keep on watching in this video I tried on about seven waterproof eyeliners both drugstore and high-end and just kind of um, put them up against each other and see which eyeliner lasted the longest the different brands of eyeliners are the elf waterproof gel eyeliner the ulta cream eyeshadow and liner the urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil the Sephora retractable eyeliner that's waterproof. Next one is the Lorac front of the line pro eyeliner and dose of colors unbox eyeliner. And the most expensive of them all is the Marc Jacobs gel highlighter. This is the Ulta cream eyeshadow and liner. So it's actually an eyeshadow and a liner at the same time. Now all of these eyeliners that I picked are really very creamy. It doesn't tug under the eyes. They all just glide on nicely under the eyes. In that sense, all of them are really good. The Ulta um, liner though, I found that sometimes it can get a little bit patchy, but it is one of the more long-lasting eyeliners out there. Next one is by Elf. It's very black, very pigmented, very creamy. It doesn't feel rough when you put it under the eyes. And this is one of the cheapest, cheapest um, eyeliners out there. As far as consistency goes, it's really pretty much the same as the more expensive or high-end brands. So I love that about this. Next one is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This green one right here. This one is in the color Overdrive in case you're interested. Claim of this eye pencil is that it lasts 24-7. The Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is a retractable one if you can see that right here. So it goes on smoothly. This is in the color matte black and I find that it's really not as dark or deep black as maybe the e.l.f. eyeliner. It kind of has a grayish sheen to it so if you're looking for a really deep black this might not be it. Also with the Sephora eyeliners, the, the pencil kind I've been kind of allergic to. My eyes kind of starts itching when I do use that one and this one is the retractable one and I'm not getting that itching that I feel with the pencil. So I like that. It's also long wearing. All of these eyeliners that I've used are so creamy. It's just really a matter of how long they'll last on your skin. Okay, Lorac Front of the Line Pro. Right there, I got the brown one. This is the color dark brown. The Dose of Colors Unbox Eyeliner. It's kind of like a brownish, a really warm brown next to that dark brown right there. This is an interesting package. It looks like a pencil, right? And it has a pointy tip. Sometimes you pay for packaging, so I thought I'd mention that. Kind of took me a while to figure out how to actually open it or like which side am I supposed to open to reveal the um, the eyeliner. Right? I still don't know how to open it. And then last but not least, two, four, six, seven. The seventh eyeliner that I tested is by Marc Jacobs. It is the most expensive eyeliner. And this is the gel highlighter right here in black. I'll put it in the description box, the exact colors that I have with me in this video. So this is how I kind of figured out what is the most long lasting eyeliner. For a couple of days, I put these seven on my hand, right here on the back of my hand, and I just went about doing my business, like cooking, cleaning, going to work, and actually, no, I didn't bring it to work. I let it go through several hand washes. When I say hand wash, I use soap, I do this all over the back of my hand, all of that. So after five to 10 washes, I took a picture of them to see, you know, 
how much they smudged or if they've lost their color. So after five to 10 washes, I found that the Marc Jacobs had the most opaque color at the end. Now coming in second place is the Urban Decay one. So the Urban Decay, which is the green one right here. The third one is actually a three-way tie between the e.l.f. Ulta and the Lorac eye pencil. So that was interesting that, you know, something from the drugstore could actually last that long. An even bigger test for me is actually taking it to bath. And so I went in the shower, I took a bath like normal, and I didn't hold back. Surprisingly enough, a lot of them survived the shower. The Marc Jacobs, the Lorac, and the Ulta eyeliner stayed put really well while all the other eyeliners kind of faded a bit or maybe a, a whole lot of it. <laughs> so I also want to add that I went in the shower after these eyeliners have been put through the five to ten hand washes. Like they've already been through the ringer and this is like their last a chance to actually survive and be that waterproof that they claim to be, right? In reality though, once you have them on your eyes, you're not gonna be taking a shower with them. You're not gonna be, you know, hand washing or scrubbing your eyes to see if it's gonna stay right. So I'm assuming that the, st the staying power are gonna be a lot better once they're put in your eyes. If you are like myself who has really watery eyes, you know, that could really affect the staying power of the eyeliners if your eyes don't water you're not allergic or sensitive you know then they're gonna stay much much longer on the eyes the last step is makeup remover so what I thought I do was just pretty much wipe them off and see which is gonna stay on the longest right so as I wipe them, they're slowly going to disappear before they all eventually get wiped off. So at the end, the makeup remover wins, right? But I kind of wanted to see which one was harder for the makeup remover to actually remove and clean off. The top, top three eyeliners that stayed put when I was using the makeup remover was the Marc Jacobs Lorac and the Ulta eyeliner. So it was a surprise for me. The only thing with this is that it is a little bit chubby, but you get a lot for your money. So the Ulta is $8.50 $8 for about 0 0.05 ounces, but probably it's not for everyone because of how chubby it is. I've been trying it for a while now and I actually like it. I'm still able to apply a thin layer of it um, under the eyes. I can try show it to you guys right now. Yeah, I'm surprised that Ulta survived this long. And then of course, Lorac is another of my favorite long lasting eyeliners. This is no surprise. It's a little bit cheaper then Marc Jacobs. If you don't want to spend too, too much, but you think the drugstore is not right for you, then definitely you can try the Lorac brand. Great quality. I've had this for many, many years and I would continually repurchase it. So highly recommend the Lorac front of the line pencil. The main winner of this challenge is Marc Jacobs. I know. It's so expensive. It just lasted the longest and unfortunately it is the most expensive but if you want to invest and put your money on that, you're that person that uses eyeliners a lot and you have the budget for this, then definitely give it a try. Marc Jacobs is $21 for 0.1 ounce. Now I only have the sample here, that's why it looks so tiny. This is actually better bang for your buck than getting the Dose of Colors um, eyeliner. Yeah, the Dose of Colors doesn't have that long wear lasting color. I wouldn't recommend buying this for the price. And it's even more expensive than the Lorac one, but it does not have that staying power the way Lorac and Marc Jacob does. So um, it's the second most expensive um, eyeliner, but it doesn't last as long. So save your money on that one. I'm surprised that Ulta, which is a lot cheaper than the Urban Decay waterproof eyeliner, is actually better as far as staying power goes. I really 
I want to give Urban Decay the benefit of the doubt because I've used this myself. It's a really, really good eyeliner. In fact, during the 5 to 10 hand washes, um, Urban Decay was more opaque than the Ulta one. But unfortunately, during bath, I don't know if it's the type of soap that I use at bath time, but the Ulta just won over the Urban Decay. Here's a fun fact, by the way, guys. The Sephora brand of eyeliner is actually more expensive than the Urban Decay eyeliner. When you calculate the price per ounce, and you guys can do the math yourselves, I may be wrong, and I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but the price of the Sephora eyeliner is $12 for 0.01 ounce. Okay, and then the Urban Decay one is $22 for 0.04 ounce. So, you know, the expectation is Sephora is already, should be one of the cheaper brands at the store. And it just kind of surprised me. And I wouldn't mind that Sephora is more expensive if the quality was there as far as the staying power goes on waterproof eyeliners. But it was actually one of the first to fade. It didn't last long. So I definitely pass up on the Sephora. Don't get that you know, get the Urban Decay instead. The quality's there and it's cheaper when you calculate the price per ounce. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, if you're new here, I post videos once a week. So please consider subscribing, join the family. And yeah, I hope you guys like this rundown of the different waterproof eyeliners. I was thinking of doing another video with kind of more of a high allergenic kind of eyeliners those eyeliners that aren't gonna irritate the skin there's bare minerals there's Fenty Beauty Honest Beauty Thrive Cosmetics Clinique Neutrogena they have some pretty good eyeliners that claim to be not as harsh on the eyes that are good for sensitive eyes and so I think I want to do that next so that's it for this video and I hope to see you guys back in my corner soon bye